Welcome to Philosophy 170, Critical Thinking. My name is Dr. Charles Wallace, and I'll be your professor for this class. In the first module of two modules for this orientation video, I want to go over how I've set up your Canvas website, talk a little bit about the resources and assignments, and the overall pace of the course. In preparation for this class, I revised and updated many aspects of the Canvas site. I've tried to make sure that everything is functional, but if you have a problem, or a suggestion, by all means, please contact me. I'll do my best to make sure that everything runs smoothly throughout the term. I've broken the course down into nine modules, six modules lasting two weeks and three modules lasting one week. This is the landing page as it should appear to you when you log into the class. As you can see, it's broken down into nine individual modules together with the syllabus for our course. I've attached a copy of the syllabus to the first announcement. You can also download the syllabus or access it from the landing and module pages in Canvas whenever you like. On the Sunday, at the beginning of each week during the term, and roughly six days prior to the due date for any assignments for that week, I'll send out an announcement. In fact, you should have already received the first announcement. Future announcements are going to have that same general format. Each announcement is going to tell you what we're doing in the course that week. It's going to give you links to the lecture videos. For example, links to this orientation video. It's going to give you my email address, remind you of my office hours, include a Zoom link and a physical location for that office hour. Additionally, announcements will contain links to the actual course assignments. This week, for instance, we have our first required assignment, a quiz on the chapter, What is Critical Thinking? Each week I post required quizzes and or tests covering each set of readings and lectures. In addition to the required assignments, I post an optional extra credit assignment on that same material that you can take to earn extra credit points that I apply to the raw scores for that required assignment. All assignments for any given week will be due by 11.59 p.m. on the Saturday following the Sunday in which the announcement appears. Again, assignments become available at 8 a.m. on Sunday, and then six days later, they are due at 11.59 p.m. on that Saturday. I give you those six days so that students have some flexibility in when they complete assignments. I've given students multiple days to complete assignments for each week to assure that students have ample time to complete the assignments. However, if you're having trouble getting through the assignments for a given week, please feel free to contact me and I may help you by extending an assignment here or there to make sure that you have a chance to get all the material done. The links to the lectures and sometimes to the readings and the quizzes are reproduced here in the announcements. They are also available in the modules. You'll be able to access assignments for the week through the weekly announcements or through the module, either on the landing page or here on the modules page, or through the quizzes and assignments pages. I've written many chapters of a textbook for this course, and you will have free access to those chapters through the links in the announcements and the Canvas modules whenever my chapters are in fact completed and available for student use. However, you will need access to a copy of the other required text starting in week seven. That text is Patrick Hurley's A Concise Introduction to Logic. You need not buy the most recent edition, and I have included pictures of past editions of the Hurley text in our syllabus, as we'll see. The gradebook for the course will look like this. The breakdowns of scores and their weightings is over here on the right-hand side and you'll be able to keep track of how you're doing as we go through the term. I want to emphasize that I structure this course so that students have roughly 10 to 12% potential bonus through optional extra credit assignments. Should a student earn all those extra credit points, they could literally raise their grade from a C to a B or a B to an A. The idea that I have here is that the quizzes will help you rehearse the material, They'll give you detailed feedback on that material so that you can better understand the material by the time you take the required quizzes and tests. I encourage students strongly to take those optional extra credit practice quizzes 
First, they can't hurt your grade, they can only help your grade. Then, do the required quiz. That way, you'll have some feedback on your understanding of the material, and you'll be able to take that feedback and study or go on and continue to take the required quiz or test. In the next and last module of this orientation video, I'll briefly go over our syllabus.